All right, in this video, we are going to look at uh, the gear font. I'm going to show you how to get these gears rotating nicely. A little bit of math is involved. Uh, feel free to go ahead and go over to um, copy this link. I'll put it in the, in the description. I'm sure I'll forget, but um, there's that link, and you can download this icon font. Free to use, whatever you want to do with it. Um, share it, do whatever. And once you download that... Um, you'll get your TTF file. You have to copy this file onto your phone and put it in underneath the fonts folder inside of custom. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that, I have some videos for it, but I want to go ahead and jump into this. Once you have that font in your uh, custom folder, go into KOWP, and I went ahead and just added a global font, and it's Gears by Craft Math 1 through 9, and it'll be labeled something like that. The one and the nine, as you can clearly see, these are actually gears because one of the well, two of the gears are a one and a nine when we apply the font. So let me show you that real quick. Let me add a text item. And for this text item, I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just so you can see all the gears. They're going to look small at first. However, we can adjust the size and they will be clearly visible. And I'm going to show you that. Let me go ahead and apply that global font to these numbers because clearly there's just numbers right now. But once I do that, they're real small. Let me go to fit width so we can make these a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and let the width be up to 720. You can see them starting to pop up now on the screen. And let me adjust the size a little bit. Oh, I did fit width. I need to do um, fixed width. And now let me adjust the size. All right, so there's all of them. One, two, and three. These are 20, uh, 20 tooth gears. Four, five, and six. These are 30 tooth gears. And seven, eight, nine. These are 60 tooth gears. I do have um, other gears available too. This is just something for you to have fun with. Um, you don't have to go purchase anything off the Google Play Store. Um, and these will work nicely. Here's the things you have to be careful with. Um, let me go ahead and add a text item and let me do a one. Let me do the number one. That's going to be that first gear that we see back there. So one. I want to make this nice and big. Apply that global font. And let's bump this on up to about 900. Now here's the first thing you got to understand about getting these gears to look nice. Um, make them all rotate in unison. Whatever size you set your gear to, all of them need to be set like that. Um, let me pop this to the center, and I'm just going to, whoops, this way. All right, there's my first tooth. Now, I'm going to give you a formula to figure this out, but I want you to understand really what's going on mathematically here as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing rotating. So animate. And you want to use numbers that are nice, such as like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. You can do 15 seconds, things like that. You don't want to do it on one second. And, and let me show you why. Let me go to scroll. Let me go to rotate or action and go to rotate. And you need to go to um, straight. And it's rotating so fast because it's doing one revolution per second. Let's just go ahead and bump the duration on up to 10, which is going to be 100 in KOWP. Now, that's looking better, more manageable. All right. Now, something else I also have up here. Uh, I recommend going and watching this. This is the formula that we're going to use, and I'll explain that in a second. However, just let me go ahead and add another gear to this right now. So... Uh, let's do the 60 tooth. Let's put a 60 tooth over here and let's try to link these things up and get them to rotate nicely. So let me back up. Back up again to root and let me add another text item. So I'm going to copy and paste this one. And the reason why I'm copying and pasting is to show you how things aren't going to look right and I'm going to show you how we fix it. I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, number eight because number eight is one of the 60 tooth gears. All right. Now notice they are spinning at the exact same number of RPMs. But the number of teeth that are going to pass through are going to be significantly different. So if I go and position this one, let me bump this over here and let me slide it on down a little bit. As you can see, that is th this one looks like it's spinning faster. It's, it's, all it is is that more teeth are passing through a particular point at a given time. 
But now let's go back. Let me do some a little bit of math with you real quick. And let's think about this. Remember how we had this one right here? We had it set to rotate at what? Uh, every 10 seconds. And it was a 20 tooth gear. Well, let's look at the math. Whoops. Computer's getting slow. I'm doing too much. All right. So we have 20 teeth. every 10 seconds. That's the that's what I just made for this one in KLWP. Well, let's think about this. I want to convert this to like minutes. So it takes 60 seconds for a minute, obviously. So 10 times 6. So uh, 10 and 6, the 6 is the multiplier here. Let's multiply this by 6. If we go, if we, if 10, 20 teeth pass through this thing every 10 seconds, 120 teeth will pass every 60 seconds. So now let's take that and tune it for this one. We have 60 teeth every blank seconds, and we still want the same number of teeth. So what do we have to multiply 60 by to get this 120? Let's take 60 times 2. So what times 2 over here is going to give us 60 seconds? 30. Basically, we want the same number of teeth to pass through a given point, maybe this point right here where they link up. We want the same number of teeth to pass through this point on this small gear as we do for this big gear. So we need to bump this time up. And there's something else we need to do, too, for this animation. We need to rotate inverted. We want to rotate in the opposite direction. So I'm going to set that to rotate inverted. Now, if we bump this up to 30 seconds, which is 300, now it's just a matter of me zooming in. And I don't like that. Um, you could zoom in to get a better view, but I'm going to be able to do it just fine right here. I just want to position, reposition this gear to where it's going to, um, looks like the teeth are going to be linking up quite nicely. And all I'm doing here, y'all, is really what's called an inverse proportion. All right, let's save that. And there we go. See how they're linking up? One's not overlapping the other. They are moving in unison because 120 teeth, based on the time frame that I made here, 120 teeth are passing through this little spot right here on both gears every minute. Now let's do a 30 tooth gear real quick. So let me go back into KOWP. I will do gear number one, two, three, four. Let's do gear number four. So going back to root. Now I'm going to copy this same exact one again, the number one, because now I want this one to rotate in the same direction as gear one because I'm going to link it up down here. And uh, you have to change your rotate. Rotate, rotate, inverted. Rotate, rotate, inverted as you're making these things. So let me go to, oh, I don't want to change that. I do want to um, change the speed, but I, let's bump it down first. Let's get a better view. Oh, what the heck am I talking about? I got to change it. So what did I say I was going to change it to? Number four. All right, there's the bigger gear. Let's bump it on down. Alright, and now, right now, moving way too fast. Well, let's think about this. We have a 30 tooth gear now, so we want 30 teeth every blank seconds. Well, remember, the magic number, since I did this thing way back here at the beginning, 120 teeth are passing through a given point. I want 120 teeth to pass through down here. Wasn't well, that going to be 30 times 4? Isn't that going to give us 120 teeth every, hmm, how many seconds? What times 4 is going to give you 60 seconds, if I can spell? S-E-C-O-N-D-S. How about 15? 15 times 4 will give you that 60. So that's the time that we need to change. Maybe you're starting to realize the bigger your gear, the slower it actually needs to move. And the smaller your gear, the faster that it needs to move. 
So let me go back to this animation on this 32th gear. Let me bump this up to 15, which will be 150. And now it's just a matter of me. Actually, that looks quite nice where it is. They're linked up pretty good. I mean, you can go in there and do some fine tuning if you want to. Yeah, see, I'm jacking it all up. Yeah, that right there looks quite nice. Just like that. Now, how is this tied into this formula? Here's the formula. T1 over T2 equals R2 over R1. I'm not, don't get, notice the T2 and the R2 are not both on the bottom and the T1 and the R1 are not both on top. This is called an inverse proportion. I recommend you watch this video right here too um, to get a better understanding because if I'm going to fast forward through here a little bit, we actually start solving for X because if you put a, uh, a certain gear up here and you can't figure out how long to make it or how, how, how much time needs to pass, revolutions per minute, you can solve for X. But I'll tell you what, that formula right there is going to work perfectly. And to show you that, watch. Let's call this gear one. Let's call this gear two. Remember the formula. What was the formula? T1 over T2, R2 R over R1. So T1 over T2, I'll tell you what, I'm going to create a new page. And there's our formula. So T1 over T2 equals R2 over R1. So T1, how many teeth do we have in gear one? That's what T1 stands for, 20. Over, how many teeth did we have in gear two? It's 60. Now we know that. Those are given because those are the gears that I'm giving to you. Now we set, let's act like we forgot this whole thing right here. We don't need to know it. We can use this little formula to help solve for it. So we don't know the revolutions per minute. Now R2 revolutions per minute, we don't know what that is. However, what we can do, we know that the revolutions per minute for R1 is doing a revolution every 10 seconds and we therefore it'll be six revolutions per minute. So use RPMs over here when you're dealing with uh, revolutions. So let's cross multiply and divide. That's a common way to solve proportions. 20 times 6, we get 120. All I'm doing is cross multiplying those two numbers. Cross multiply the other way. 60 times x is 60x. Set these two things equal to each other. Uh, two things that are proportional, the cross products are equal. So let's divide by 60 to get x by itself. 120 divided by 60 equals 2. So 2 is equal to x. Hmm, does that sound familiar? Remember this back here? If we get 2 equals x, that means we need to do 2 revolutions per minute. Well, 2 revolutions per minute means you need to have a revolution every 30 seconds because it takes 2 30 seconds to get to a minute. So I'm referring back to the 10 seconds, the 30 seconds, and things like that because in KLWP, that's how you would have to apply that number for your animation. That's why we put a 300 there in KLWP. And um, all of these always work like that. The inverse proportion is what we're doing. And a way to think about this is the bigger your gear, the slower it is. The smaller your gear, the faster it is. And that's the whole idea of an inverse proportion. So as you can see here, we have that stuff applied quite nicely. Uh, just to show you some things I love about an icon font. Um, what gear am I on right now? Let me go back up here to this first one. Uh, so icon font, I'm going to go to paint. I already have some global fonts set up just to show you how you can start tweaking this. So gear one color, I'm going to apply a gradient. Let's do a vertical gradient and let's do gear one gradient. And you can't quite tell. It's like a, a light green and a blue. What about this big one right here? So this would be uh, gear two color. And go to my what I do, vertical gradient, vertical horizontal. It doesn't really matter since it's, oh, check that out. See how it's kind of dark right there? It looks quite nice. You could leave it like that if you wanted to, obviously. Uh, gear 2 gradient, there we go. So like a yellow and a blue. And uh, this one down here. Do my gear 3. So gear 3 color, red. Leave it like that if you'd like. 
mess around with it. And that's something that I like about versus using what's called a PNG image because there are some PNG uh, gears that you can get off like you know Google Images or something like that. But you can't adjust the colors. You can't um, do these gradients like I'm doing right now. And as you can see, uh, what started off as just a very basic small icon font, we can zoom in on these. And with a little bit of math and inverse proportions, you can get these things locking up nicely. And um, there you have it. That is how you can get these gears to rotate, lock up, and rotate nicely together. And that is it for this video. Hope it helped.